In this Tech Corner video, I'm going to explore TTL, or through the lens metering. Whenever most photographers hear the term TTL, they instantly think of their flash and how it can adjust its own flash power for a perfect photograph. But that's just one part of TTL. TTL stands for through the lens, and it is a metering system that is not exclusive to flash. TTL is the ability for your camera to figure out the correct exposure for you to take a photo. All modern cameras use digital TTL, so that is what I will be covering in this video. However, some early film cameras used an analog TTL system. Whenever you use your camera in auto or semi-auto modes, that is A or S modes or AV or TV modes, or when you use your camera's light meter, the camera is using a sensor inside the body to read the amount of light being reflected by the scene and entering the camera through the lens, hence TTL. In this mode, the camera is metering through the lens the ambient light in the scene to determine the correct exposure. Flash TTL works in pretty much the same way, with a small exception. When you take a photo with flash, set to TTL, the flash fires twice. The first thing that happens when you press the shutter button is there is a pre-flash. This makes the flash fire at a predetermined flash power level and the camera meters the scene through the lens to determine if the scene is overexposed or underexposed and by how much. The camera then adjusts your flash power accordingly and the photo is taken at the correct exposure. The two flashes happen so fast that to our eyes it looks like a single flash. So the point of TTL is to give you a super quick way to get a correct exposure with or without flash. The issue with TTL is that it is using reflective metering and is therefore trying to give you an 18% grey average exposure. Although that will work in most cases, there are times where your camera will be fooled into giving you a completely incorrect exposure. If you want to learn more about reflective metering, how it works, and how it affects your camera's exposure, check out my video on light meters linked in the description below. So how do we fix this? If you're shooting with natural light, your camera has an exposure compensation button. This button allows you to adjust the TTL exposure up or down in stops of light. If you need a refresher on stops of light, check out my exposure triangle video also linked in the description below. So the way the exposure compensation button works is that you tell the camera how many stops underexposed or overexposed you want the photo to be from where the camera thinks is the correct exposure. If you set the exposure compensation to zero, no adjustment will be made and the photo will be taken with the settings your camera has metered. So as an example, if you're shooting at night and your camera keeps overexposing your photos, set the exposure compensation to underexposed by one or two stops. That way your camera will still determine an 18% grey exposure using TTL and will then bring the exposure down by however many stops you tell it to. In the same way, if you are shooting in a white studio or in snow where there is lots of white and you find your camera is underexposing your images, use your exposure compensation button and this time tell the camera to overexpose from where it thinks the correct exposure is. So that's all well and good for your camera, but what about TTL flash? Well, just like your camera, your flash also has a TTL exposure compensation setting which works in exactly the same way. Unlike your camera, which has the same button regardless of brand or model, every flash has a slightly different way of accessing TTL exposure, so it is best to consult your manual. Once you know how to access exposure compensation on your flash, it is adjusted in stops of light, just like your camera's exposure. So next time you're in a difficult situation and your camera keeps getting the exposure wrong, just adjust your exposure compensation on your camera, flash, or both for perfect photos. Thanks for watching this Tech Corner video. Please comment below with any questions and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future videos.